put up first. Most of us have heard about the two Boeing 737 MAX 8 jets that crashed, killing all passengers. The most recent one happening on Sunday. And with the story receiving so much publicity, it can give travelers anxiety if they didn't have it already. And our Malik Rankin joins us with a few tips to get past your nerves. Chad and Lauren, I sat down with a psychologist today who made a great point. We don't have news stories about every plane that lands safely, so when one crashes and it's a big story, it seems much more likely to occur than it really is. Dr. Tara File with CHI St. Alexius says the first thing you should do is pinpoint your fears. Determining if it's turbulence or a confined space can help you learn how to cope. File says to also ask your flight attendants any questions that may help you feel more comfortable. I would highly recommend coming up with a few healthy distractions for the flight. You know, finding an app that contains some breathing or relaxation exercises on your phone can be a great go-to. Uh, finding a game or calming music to listen to while you're flying can be a great go-to as well. There are a lot of things that are more likely to happen to you than being in a plane crash. The odds of being in a plane crash are about 1 in 11 million. You're more likely to become the president of the United States, more likely to be killed by a bear at Yellowstone National Park. You're more likely to write a New York Times bestseller, and you're also more likely to win an Olympic gold medal. And Sweet. that is good to know. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> going to keep training, keep Malik. working on my golf game. Good perspective. <laughs> Thank Thanks, you. Malik. When we come back, we know the